How to customize Shopify Sense theme. In this video, we'll show you how to actually customize the free Shopify Sense theme. And I can promise you guys that even if you are a complete beginner, by the end of this video, you will actually get a good looking shop. We are going to go over all of the crucial details like changing fonts, changing colors, uploading your products and so on. Now, to get started, you will have to head over to your Shopify dashboard and then you will have to go to online store on the left. Right here on the theme library, you will then have to click on add theme and then you will have to click on visit theme store. Right here, you will then have to click on explore themes and then you will have to select free and you will have to select the sense theme right here. And then you will just have to click on try theme and like this, the sense theme will actually get added onto your Shopify dashboard and onto your Shopify store. Now, as you can see, now it's successfully got added. And once it got added, we will actually have to click publish right here so that it actually gets added onto our live store. So once we've added it onto our live store, we can click on customize on the right and we can actually get started customizing this. Now, before we can get started editing anything, let me show you how the editor actually works. Now, right here on top, you can actually change the view of this website, which is really important to do because obviously now these days, most of the people that are going to visit your online shop are actually going to visit your online shop on mobile. So that's something that you will have to keep in mind. Right here on top, you can change the site that you're on. So if you, for example, want to change to the collection list right here, you can then do that and you can then edit the collection list. However, to get started, we will actually get started with the home page. Now, right here on the left, you will basically have all of your different elements and you can also edit everything once you've selected certain elements. And right here on the uh, on the far left, we have the sections, which is this uh, which is this right here. And then we also have the theme settings. Now the theme settings, if you, for example, are familiar with ClickFunnels, kind of work as a style guide where you can set all of your basic parameters. Like for example, you can set the logo, you can also set the colors, typography, and so on. And now these, these settings will basically work as the default. And if you are going to change anything right here, it is going to be changed across all of your store. Now to get started with, I will actually change, I think I will change the color scheme as I don't really like this one right here. So to get started with, I will just click on add new scheme. Now to find out what color is for which element, you can just drag this around. So for example, this is the background, but for example, I will just do this right here. And now we can see, okay, this is for the background. And then for example, if you want to change things like text, you can do that right here. Now as you can see right here on top, anything, this is going to be changed now. However, generally, I really like these colors right here. So one thing which I would like to edit, I would like to add the gradient right here. So as you can see, this gradient right here is actually under the color scheme too. Now, basically, this is a new feature which they've recently enrolled. You can have multiple color schemes at the same time, and you can also use these color schemes for different kind of things. So as you can see, the color scheme too is actually for this kind of background gradient. So I will change this background gradient right here to actually change these elements on our website. And one way to do that is to use a website called kudas.co. Now this is completely free to use. This is just a website where you can actually generate all sorts of different uh, color palettes basically, which you can then use for your website. So let's for example say that I want to go for maybe something like, like this, misty rose, and we can then just add it onto our website. So let's say that I want to add this. And then for the second color, I'm going to go for this buff one and I'm just going to select the color right here and then I'm going to add it right here. Now it is going to update and I think something like this actually looks, looks fairly nice. Now, if you want to change the middle color right here, we can also do that. We can make it, maybe make it a little bit more darker. However, I will actually leave it at the, at the kind of at, at a kind of lighter color as I think this really suits the overall theme. Now, once you are done editing your colors, and by the way, these are just example changes that I am doing, you will have to edit this on your own so that it actually looks good for your store and for your product. But once you are ready with the colors, we can actually head back and then we can also add other, we can also edit other stuff like for example, typography. If we want to change the font, we will just have to click right here and on the font, we can then we can then set all sorts of different fonts that we want to use. However, I think this font actually suits the overall theme pretty good. So I will just leave it as it is. And now right here, you can set up all sorts of different things. Like for example, one thing which is really important to do is to add social media accounts to your store. So if you have any accounts, for me, this just would be youtube.com slash at Elias 
browser and then you will just have to add your social accounts onto right here and now these social accounts are going to be added right here on the footer which is something which i would recommend you to do because like this your potential customers can reach you way easier and it also kind of builds up social proof if you have followers on instagram for example and so on all right now let's get to the fun part and let's actually start customizing our home page now we're going to get started with the home page and after that i will show you how to customize the product page now as you can see right here this is going to be our crow header so basically the most important header and everyone that is going to visit our website is going to see this first now the first thing that we want to do is we we, we obviously would want to change this image right here so to do that we will just have to click on this element right here and then on the left we can see select select image and then we can just use any of our images that we have uploaded onto your store and additionally if we want to we can also add new images from right here so i personally will just go for an image that i have on my store so i will think i will go with this one and by the way for this example store i will actually just sell a juicer a blender right here so and then we can also change the text right here so we can say something like the um, let's say something like the best portable blender on the market now if you want to we can also change the heading size to small or also to to large if you want to however we'll just leave it at medium and i actually think this is kind of too big so i will just delete on the market and i think something like this looks way nicer and as you can see now we also have this button and this is the shop now button which is going to redirect the person to the all products tab right here however i actually want to uh, redirect the person directly to the product page because it's really un unnecessary to redirect them to the products tab as i only have one product in in stock right now so to actually do that and to actually edit that we will have to head back to home and then under the under the button we will have to go under products and then we will have to select the fresh juice blender and now whenever someone is going to click this button right here they're going to be redirected to a product page which we're going to customize later on now if you actually want to delete a section we can do that by just selecting it and then going on remove section on the left and then it is removed from our page it is going to take a bit and as you can see now it is successfully removed from our page however i still want to add some more elements to this as because this would just be pretty boring as a home page with only this element section right here so to do that we can just click on add section right here on the left and then we can add all sorts of different sections so let's for example say that we want to add a college to our to our page so as you can see now we've successfully added a college and now we could for example display your product and one other thing which i personally really like to add onto my home page is this multi-column section right here so basically you can you can use this multi-column section in many ways but one thing that i like to do is to just like add reviews onto these columns and by the way one thing which you always have to keep in mind is how the store is going to look on mobile so as you can see if you're now going to switch on mobile these multi-columns are actually going to be under the so basically in a line however on desktop they're going to be side by side so that's something you have to keep in mind so so we could now for example add some reviews to this so, so we could say okay john said one of the best portable blenders i've ever bought now obviously these should be real reviews and not just made up now you can basically add everything you like for example you can also add the video section and by the way if you if you want to delete this text right here you will just have to delete it on the left and now it's completely deleted from your section and this will also automatically align uh, itself on the block so as you can see beforehand it kind of was under the text but once we've deleted the text it will go up right here now we can basically add all sorts of different section if we want to but let me now show you how to customize the header of your store so to do that you will just have to click on header right here and then you can first of all set the desktop logo position so for me i personally always leave it at top left as i think that just looks the best and then we can get started changing the main menu right here so the main menu are basically these buttons right here and to change them you will have to click on this little thingy right here and then you can edit everything the way you want to so let's for example say that i don't want to uh, i don't want to have this product catalog right here rather i want this to say fresh juice blender i want and i want to directly redirect it to our product page so to do that we can change the name right here to fresh juice 
Blender. And then as for the link, I will just once again select products and then I'm going to select the fresh juice blender right here. And then we can click on apply changes. Now, if you want to add a new menu item, for example, FAQ, then we can also do that. And we could now link this FAQ to pages. And then if we wanted to, we could set up a new page where we're going to display our frequently asked questions. So as you can see, now it says Fresh Truth Blender. And when we click on it, it is actually going to redirect us directly to the product page. Now, one thing which is also super important to do is adding your own custom logo. And to do that, you will have to click on theme settings on the left and under logos, you can then upload your logo. Now, if you don't have a logo yourself, let me quickly show you how to create a logo for your Shopify store. So just head over to Canva. Canva is a free to use designer and just look for something like Blender logo, for example, as I'm setting a Blender. Now these logos right here aren't actually customized for blenders, however sometimes they actually have that option. Now to get started with, you will just have to select a logo that you like. So for example, I will go with this kind of aesthetic beauty logo and then I will just change the text to fresh juice, fresh juice. And then for this, uh, and I will delete the big one and for the, for the smaller text right here, I will just say something like portable blender and then I'm actually going to delete the background so that this is transparent and then I will just download it and now basically you can just repeat this process with all sorts of different logos now one thing which I which I didn't mention is that this logo right here isn't actually transparent which we want to have so to actually get a transparent logo we will have to head over to remove.bg and then we will just have to drag our logo onto this and now it is basically going to remove all of the white so that we can use this for our page. So once you've removed all of the white, you can then just upload your logo onto Shopify and you can then select it right here once it's successfully uploaded. And then I will just click on done. And as you can see now our logo successfully got added so we can also change the logo width if we want to, to make it bigger. Now I actually don't like how this looks so, and I will change it so that the logo is in the middle. And I think, and I think like this, it looks way better. Now, as for the announcement bar on top, you will just have to select it. And if you actually want to delete this, you can just click this button right here. However, I think the announcement bar is actually pretty useful as you can use it to promote different kind of stuff on your shop. So maybe if there is a sale going on, you can say, you can change this and say something like, a minus 20% off until Wednesday, for example, which is going to add some scarcity to your offer and which can increase the conversion rate. Now, I think by now we are pretty much done with the home page. One other thing which I would like to mention, as for the theme settings, there are really tons of different settings which you will have to go over by yourself because most of them you won't actually need to use. However, some of them are, are still pretty useful. For example, one other thing which I would like to mention is the checkout right here. So for example, if you want to do custom branding for the checkout, then you have that option right here. And also if you want to add some animations, if you want to add a hover effect, for example, then you will also have that option and you can also add that if you want to. Now let me now show you how to customize the product page on the sense feed. So as you can see, this is how our product page is going to look like. On the left, you have all sorts of different images and on the right, the information that you will need to actually buy the product. So if you want to customize anything in particular, you will just have to select it and then you can customize it if you want to. Now to get started, I want to add a new section right here. And then we can use this collapsible content one to actually just add some things. Now, I actually really like this because like this, you can first of all answer some frequently asked questions. So for example, we can say something like, how long does shipping take? And like this, we can then answer this question. And let's say that, let's say that this, and let's say that we're just going to write something like, usually shipping takes between one to two two weeks and now they can just click onto this and they will then see the answer to this question now obviously you would have to go way more in depth for your store this is just an example however as you can see right here i think this check mark icon doesn't really suit the question so to actually change the icon you will just have to head to icon right here and then you can use any of these things right here so let's for example say yeah they have a truck I think a truck is going to suit this. I think something like this looks looks pretty good. And then let's for example say that the next thing is going to be how long does the battery last? 
And then as an icon, let's see if they have a battery icon. It seems like not, but they have a lightning bolt, which also kind of stands for battery. So I think this also looks pretty good. Um, now, and basically you can continue this if you want to. For now, I will just delete this collapsible content thing on the top, as I don't really think we need a heading for this section. And now let's say that I want to delete the bottom two of these because oh, we don't actually have any more questions. However, obviously you would have way more questions for your product. I just don't want to waste your time essentially. And by the way, if you find this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe. It would really mean the world to me. And now we can actually also continue with this. For example, if we, if we would actually sell some more products, then we could just click on this featured product or on this featured collection setting right here. And then this would get added onto our store. And like this, we can also increase the average order value because obviously if they're going to buy this, maybe they're also in, in interested in similar products to this. However, for my store, this doesn't actually make sense as I only have this product in stock right now. And that's basically it. Thank you for watching. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you have any more questions on how to actually customize the Sense theme, you can leave them down below and I will try to get back to you as soon as possible.